Hey everyone, it's Drew from Top City Gear and today I just wanted to show a little bit about a belt that I bought from Cabela's oh probably about six months or so ago and uh, it's kind of the belt I've been using every day and it, it's uh, turned out to be a pretty good investment as it uh, seems. Now at first glance this kind of just seems to be you know just a normal nylon webbing belt but what really kind of makes it different I think is the buckle system that it has um, basically this belt uses kind of a friction type uh, system there's sort of a uh, kind of like a pinch point here when you push it down and snap it in place it squeezes in on the other side of the belt and locks it in place. I'll kind of show you that. Basically just kind of flip it open a little bit. Stick the opposite end in. You do kind of have to get this at the right angle to get it to go in nice and easy. But then, you know, you just adjust it to where you need it. And lock it in place and it locks. Now it does, it is able to slip if you pull on it pretty good, you know, but um, in my use I have not had it loosen up on me and in fact I've usually had to loosen it a little bit uh, you know after a big meal or something like that but basically with this system you get essentially an infinite adjustability in your belt which is really nice now now there are there's other systems that do that too uh, you know like sort of your typical buckles that you know have something that fold over a uh, part of the buckle but this really makes it easy and fast to adjust and I don't know about you but those ones that you know that have a buckle where you you kind of loop the webbing through and you know and back out the other side I'm always forgetting how to do those and you know having trouble with them so I thought this would be pretty neat and it actually works pretty darn good especially if you're uh, somebody who uh, you know might be carrying concealed with a waistband uh, inside the waistband uh, or more holster uh, like I often do um, in that case it's critical to get just the right belt tension if you've got something with different holes and all that you may not be able to get it just right but with this you can get it perfect every time now this buckle is made out of a Delrin plastic it's sort of a uh, plastic designed to be hard uh, brittle and stiff now perhaps because of those properties it might be a little bit brittle uh, like I said I got this from Cabela's and it seems on Cabela's website it's kind of hit and miss as far as people's experiences uh, as far as what they list in the review section uh, apparently some people have had these break on them after not very long use the buckle part breaking on them and I could see you know you know if you just rip this open and you could probably break it fairly easily that way but I haven't had any problems with it I mean I'm I guess I'm fairly gentle with it but uh, for me I've been using it you know like I said probably well over six months now and it it's worked fine now these come a little bit long so you basically they are cut to length so you can just cut them to the length that you want and then you know just take a lighter and and melt the end of the webbing and then you've got just the right size for whatever you need now just a couple other things of note about this belt um, if you're somebody who has to walk through a metal detector frequently or you know like say the airport or maybe even your your work um, you know of course this has no metal in it so it passes right through I've actually tested that out at an airport myself it worked just fine um, and then another thing uh, that might be of concern to uh, concealed carry permit holders um, you know maybe particularly guys in particular um, you know one of the, a vulnerable area um, is a public restroom or uh, you know especially the urinal um, you know you've got your face to a wall your back exposed you probably have your pants unzipped and you know it's 
it's a pretty vulnerable position to be in. So, like, say if you were if you had a uh, gun on your belt um, with this, it's pretty easy to uh, un unlatch it, extend the belt all the way to the end, snap it in place, and now what you've done is you've given yourself a lot of slack in your waistline but you haven't completely undone your belt and then of course with your belt still uh, locked in place um, you know your gun is going to still be supported so it's not just going to fall out or fall on the ground or something now of course you know maybe it's better just to go ahead and go in a stall or whatever maybe there's not one available who knows but I'm just just kind of pointing out the option there a belt like this would also be good for somebody who's maybe a car mechanic or somebody who's messing around cars or leaning over things that you don't want to get scratched basically because uh, it's just a very smooth plastic and and it's very unlikely that this is going to uh, make a scratch in like the paint of a car or, or some other uh, sensitive or fragile object now about the only thing on this belt I wish was different is that the webbing is kind of thin and it's it's pretty pliable. It'd be nice if it was, you know, a little bit stiffer and held its shape a little bit better, but but even that being said, you know, once you put it on and pull it tight around your waist, um it, you know, it doesn't seem to have much of a problem and you know, keeps its shape well when it's up against your body. Now another great thing about this belt is it is surprisingly made in the USA. Actually it's made in Colorado USA uh, by a company called Bison Designs apparently. You can see there they have their name stamped in there and you can actually check out their website at bisondesigns.com they show uh, they've got actually a lot of, lot of other uh, belts and other uh, things like that some paracord belts too um, and I think on their website they price them at uh, like Fifteen dollars or maybe thirteen fifty, and I think uh, Cabela's shows them for seventeen ninety nine. So um, it's I don't know. I didn't think it was that expensive, but um, you know, it might seem like a lot for just a, a nylon webbing belt. But I think this belt buckle really makes makes the difference there. And um, you know, as far as the ease of adjustment, that's and and the speed of adjustment too. Um, that's really what does it for me. Now about the only problem I've had with this belt is, uh, as you can see, you know, kind of from constantly putting it in and out of the buckle there, it, it does have a little bit of fuzzy starting on the, on the webbing there, but I, one of these days I need to take a lighter and just kind of singe those away, but really not, nothing too major. Seems pretty durable overall. And, uh, these, these are also available in uh, different colors. I think they've got black, uh, OD green, and brown. So if you're in the market for a nice simple belt, you might give this one a try. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching and stay prepared.